Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and this is my 36th video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, finally, I'm going to make an expert advisor for you that that will be based on time. Um, I have already made that expert advisor for you. So in this video, I'll be explaining um, how how I made it and what uh, do you need to make this expert advisor but let me first tell you the strategy used in this expert advisor first of all this expert advisor is based on time and not on uh, indicators okay so what it does it um, first let me um, tell you about uh, some of its uh, its variables the first variable I have used here is the external double type variable and its lot this is the lot size um, of the uh, of the expert advisor and it is also provided as an input for the user so that he can change uh, this value any uh, with any value uh, he wants to okay the second variable is the take profit variable the third variable is the stop loss and this variable is um, um, is just to um, tell the user about this uh, the next variable and this open time is the time at, at which you want this indicator uh, sorry this expert advisor to open trades for you for example I have written 4 here so it will um, open 2 pending orders at at the fourth candle from the day opening like zero one two three four okay sorry this one is zero one two three four so at this candles opening whenever this candles uh, this candle will open it will place two orders two pending orders the four is this candle and also zero one two three four here it's four okay let me tell you um one two three four here you can see the time is four four o'clock and here one two three four here it's four o'clock four o'clock and at this particular candle this expert advisor will open two pending orders one buy stop and one sell stop so <clears throat> the strategy here is this expert advisor um, whatever the number of pips you will specify in in this variable which is G it will place two pending orders above the ask price of the uh, whenever this this candle opens the current ask price of the candle at that at that very moment when this candle opens and uh, it will place um, a buy stop order buy stop pending order above 10 pips from that ask price and it will place a sell stop order below 10 pips from the bid price of that very candle when that candle opens okay so this is the strategy it places two pending orders at the fourth candles opening and if one um, one of one of these two trades hits for example if it placed uh, uh, an order above here somewhere and the market raised up here and it hits that um, pending order and that pending order becomes a market order it will delete the other pending order and that order can be hit SL or that can hit a take profit okay TP okay so this is the simple strategy which is based on time and it will do the same thing for all the days okay it will place two pending orders here two pending orders here and two pending orders here and so on okay so now let's see what it has um, 
what uh, the other variables it has so this is the open time you can change this four number to any number you like for example if you wanted to um, place an order at uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine at ninth candle uh, uh, if you wanted to open two pending orders at ninth candle you will put uh, nine in here okay so the next variable is the is another um, variable which describes the variable below it so this uh, this close time variable is the close time of the trades for example I have written 20 in here so all the trades uh, will be closed if not hit TP or SL and all the market all, all the pending orders will be deleted if they are not hit okay at 20 20 o'clock okay so 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so this is the point this is the candle which has the time of 20 here you can see it's 20 so all the trades will be closed at this particular candle okay so whether they hit SL or TP or whatever they will be closed at this particular candle also you can change this um, closing time to any time you like for example if you wanted to close the time um, right here you can change the value you write the time of that particular candle so it will close it will close um, all the orders market orders and delete the pending orders at that very time which you will specify in this variable right here okay this is the magic number the magic number is um, used to differentiate um, between the orders placed by your expert advisor which is which is I uh, which is this expert advisor and the other um, trades you place manually okay so it will not close any orders which are having a different magic number okay so it knows what uh, trades um, it places and it recognizes them by its magic number okay so <clears throat> what I did here um, I have um, I have pasted uh, some um, functions which you know how to write if you have uh, if you have seen my previous videos the first uh, function I have written here is the open buy stop function which uh, places a buy stop whenever it's it is called okay um, I am dragging over here so if you don't know how to write it you can pause the video and copy this function okay uh, and also open sell stop function I have written here and that's okay the close buy function uh, which closes all the buy trades and the close sell function which closes all the sell um, trades and this uh, this function is um, is the fun error function which returns an error if some trade um, was not placed uh, due to some error so this is the function for um, alerting an error if your trade was not placed successfully and this uh, function I have written here is the delete pending function which deletes any pending orders which are there on the uh, trade window okay whether type buy stop or sell stop it will delete them uh, whenever we will call this function it will delete these all the buy stops and all the sell stops okay <coughs> and from all of uh, all of above function the very uh, important function um, which is the core of this tutorial is the check time function okay so um, what I have done here I have declared a variable and I have called it i equals zero and I um, I created a variable of type integer and 
um, time um, i equals zero that means time of the current candle um, and we are extracting the r the r of the time of the current candle so whenever a new tick arrives this particular function will extract the current time and it will extract the um, r of time of from that particular time okay so that uh, particular time will be stored in this variable which i call r time and now i have made a condition if r time equals open time which is uh, in our case equals open time equals 4 if the current candles r time equals the open time we return true okay so whenever this function will return true that means we are ready to place our orders okay because it's time to open the trades okay so the next uh, the next else if condition i have written here is the if the r time equals the close time that means in our case close time equals 20 if r time equals 20 that means it's time to close the orders so uh, what we are doing here we are returning a false value that means if upon calling this function if it returns false that means it's time to close our orders and delete our pending orders and if this function returns true uh, if it returns true that means it's time to place our orders so uh, delete pending order delete pending function the check time function the fun error function close cell close by open cell stop open buy stop and this is our star function there are there is nothing else in init initialization function and deinitialization function and now let me tell you about how um, how to use our functions in the star function and as you know this start function executes whenever a new tick arrives and that you know already so I have declared a variable of type uh, boolean and I have called my check time function um, if this check time uh, function returns to time to place orders time to place orders and if it returns false time to close orders okay so <clears throat> on each new tick um, this function will be called and the value whatever this function returns will be stored in the variable t and I have um, I have written a condition here of uh, orders total equals to zero <clears throat> that basically means that if there are no orders um, at the trade window this expert advisor should work and if there are already some orders there if there are already some orders there that means um, if there are only one order there that means um, our other um, pending order was hit and we should delete that the remaining pending order okay so if there are total zero orders we must uh, proceed inside this function and we must check if t equals true t equals true means that um, we are ready to open our trades and this check um, flag it is used um, not to open uh, more than one uh, more than um, uh, more than two trades at a time for example if this checks won't be true um, this t will be true for the whole um, 60 minutes because here it's the time is 4 and during this candle the time remains the 4 and on each new tick arrival it will keep placing trades it will keep placing um, pending orders that's why I have used this check uh, flag uh, whenever um, at the start at the beginning whenever you will attach this expert advisor to the chart this flag will be true 
and this t will be true so um, it will place um, one buy stop order and it will place one sell stop order and it will turn the check flag to false that means um, although it's um, it's the same time it's the same hour it's the same hour which is 4 right here but uh, we have already placed one buy stop and one sell stop so this check will be false and it will not execute this uh, this piece of code again and again okay it will be executed only once so and the second if t does not equals true uh, if t equals false that means it's time to close our buy trades close our sell trades and delete our pending orders okay and set the check equals true uh, to be used um, in the next uh, next um, day for uh, as this expert advisor works automatically so it sets the check equals true that means we are ready to place our um, trades on the next day okay so <clears throat> Uh, this is all for this tutorial uh, now um, if you want to know how this expert advisor works um, you go ahead and copy this piece of code um, um, pause this video for some time and write down the code um, and uh, test it with the strategy tester with you and improve it if you want to and uh, see how it it works with you and Yes, that's all for the tutorial. Thank you for watching my tutorial. See you next time